Welcome back to my second video tutorial in the series of Coding for Kids in Python. And guys, this video series will be in a particular order, so I highly recommend you guys to follow these videos in the sequential order. So to recap what we have done in my first video, I have um, gone through the basics of programming and I've explained why it's important for kids to learn the skill at a very early age. And then I also gave a brief description of the concepts of input and output with some real life examples and then after the brief introduction I hopped onto my PC and showed you all how to install Python on Windows and again if you guys are a Mac owner I would highly suggest you to get this book and read it for yourselves go through the installation instructions in this book by Mrs. Adrian Teke and then before you continue watching further videos on NP station and um, I Right at this point, I assume you have all installed Python and got to know how to open up the idle shell command. And have you said hi to Python yet? If not, go ahead and open your idle um, window and type in print, open parentheses, open quotation, hi Python. And then you close the quotation and close the parentheses and go ahead and click enter. It's as simple as that. In today's video, I'll be taking a step further with the basic programming concepts. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how to save your Python files. And also, there's so many other very useful shortcuts that can help us so much in our lives when we are coding. So I'm definitely going to share some useful tips with you guys in today's video. So just stay tuned. I'm sure it will be a wonderful and very exciting journey into the world of Python programming. As we go further into writing lengthy programs, it will be necessary for us to save our work. So let's see how we can create a Python file and save it from idle. First step is to open idle, so go ahead and click on the Cortana and type in idle, I-D-L-E, and now click on the highlighted tab. And now we have opened idle. So now on the menu bar, which has all the options like file and edit shell, just go ahead and click on the file tab. And now you see a list of options and click on new file. Well, in the next window that pops up, type your code to say hi Python as we did earlier. Print hi Python. Now click on file again, but instead of the new file, click on the save option. And in the next window, it will ask you to name your file. So go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and call mine greeting. And you can um, name yours whatever you want. And make sure to save your file in a meaningful place on your, on your computer. I have a separate folder for saving all my Python work. And it should be something you'll easy remember. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in my file, Python. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And um, if you don't choose a folder of your choice, all new files are usually saved in the same folder where Python was installed. And that's it. You've saved your first Python file. How about we go ahead and run our saved Python file? Go ahead and choose the Run option in the menu bar and um, click on the Run module. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is F5. And now that you can see, the code you um, wrote in the file is executed in the idle shell window. Saving files and saving the code you have written is something you'll be doing very often in programming as you advance in this video series. We use it so much that the programming community thought it would be much easier to provide shortcuts to make us work even faster. Let me go over a list of very helpful short keyboard shortcuts to use while coding. The first one is Control S key. This is a standard save shortcut. You can press these two keys together to save your program as you continue coding. So let's add some more lines of code to our existing file and then press these two keys together. How about print, uh, my name is Neha. And now, um, just go ahead and press these two keys together. 
um, Control S, and that's it. You your new changes are saved to the same file. In my case, it is the greeting.py file. The next one is Control N key. This shortcut will create a new file for you. So let's see what happens when you press both these um, keys together. Well, as you can see, we have opened a new file and ready to start typing our code. The next one is Control um, C key. This shortcut allows you to copy any highlighted text. And I'm sure many of you are very familiar with this one. And the other one you need to know is the Control V key. After copying some text, you can use this shortcut to paste it. Let us try to copy and paste some text in our Python file. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my previous line and go ahead and click on the Control C key. And now go to the next line and click the two keys, Control V. And there we go. You have copied and um, um, pasted one line in your idle. Well, the other one is Control Z key. I think this is the most useful command, which will allow you to perform an undo action. If you need to go back to a previous version of your file, you can go back one step at a time by using this shortcut. Let us see this in action. First, I'm going to go ahead and type in some random text in my Python file, which I already have open. As you can see, I have some very random text in here. And um, let us, um, and now once done, let us keep pressing like the Control Z key and see how it behaves. Control Z, Control Z. As you guys can see, it is deleting the text one by one I have already written. Isn't that amazing? Well, let's try to um, check out some more useful shortcuts. Step number one click on the Cortana search and type in um, CMD to go to the command prompt. Step number two, um, once you see this window pop up, you can see that it, um, it has defaulted to C drive slash user slash administrator on my PC. That is because I am logged in as the administrator. For you, it might be your personal name. Step number three, if you would like to go to the C drive, just um, type in CD slash and enter. So now we're at the C drive. And step number four, if, um, now if you want to go to a particular folder, you can type in CD space folder name. Like if I wanted to go to my NP station folder, I would type CD space NP station and click enter. Now I've gone to my NP station folder. Well, step number five, if I wanted to see all the files and folders inside NP Station, I would type DIR and hit enter. Now you can see all the folders that are in NP Station. And um, what if you guys wanted to use or wanted to repeat a command you already typed in before. Just use the up and down arrow keys until you get to what you're looking for. Let us see. Let's go ahead and click up, and now we see that my previous thing that I typed was DIR. Up again, it was CD and position. Up again, CD drive. And I can keep on pressing this button and just go um, to the previous things I've typed. Well, um, how about we just go back to our um, C drive and P station. And um, let us type in DIR. Well, as you can see, there are many folders inside here. What's an easy way to go to a particular folder without having to type the folder name? Well, now you would use CD and tab. Keep pressing the tab button until you see the folder you are looking for. I'm going to go ahead and go to Coding for Kids Python and click Enter. Well, what if I wanted to create a new folder inside C drive uh, slash NP station? You would type MD, which stands for make directory, and then give the folder name. I'm going to go ahead and give the folder name as test. Step number nine. If I wanted to remove the folder I just created, I would use RD, which stands for remove directory, and your folder name. RD test and now click enter. Well, if we type in um, CD test again and click enter, it will say the system cannot find that specific folder. So that means you've actually deleted your file. And step number 10. Now let us exit this command prompt and let's go to the Windows File Explorer. 
and on the left side you can see a quick access section. Let me tell you that this is such a useful shortcut. Suppose you have a folder which you frequently um, access. For me, it's my NP Station folder. I have all my files saved in there. So instead of navigating to my file every time, I can drag and drop it onto the quick access section to pin it there. So let's try to pin any other folder. How about my summer reading 2019 folder? I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and drag and drop it. And now I'll see actually this thing pops up and it says pin to quick access and go ahead and leave your mouse. And there you go, you've pinned a folder to the quick access section. Now there might be some programs that you use frequently, like the Python Idle or Microsoft Word. You can pin programs to your taskbar on the bottom of the screen, or you can pin programs to the start menu. Let us see how they work. Well, first let's go ahead and type in idle, and now click on and right click on idle, and now a bunch of options um, start and um, pop up. And now you can just go ahead and click on the pin to taskbar. And now you've actually pinned idle to taskbar, as you can see in the bottom of the screen. Well, these were some very useful shortcuts that I really wanted to share with all you. And I hope you found these in very interesting and useful. And I definitely use these shortcuts every time I sit down at my computer to learn Python. Even though we didn't go much further into the Python tutorial today, I definitely wanted to share these useful tips with you guys that will help us so much in our upcoming video sessions. This wraps up our second video tutorial in Coding for Kids in Python. I will be back soon with the third video where we will learn more concepts in Python. Until then, keep coding and keep reading.